yeah, it was challenging, yeah, to do maths and GCSE because I came from ESOL. As I kept going with the, with the course, I, I've seen improvement and it was, you know, motivation to keep going and to keep studying. First of all, I had a good teacher. Some of the ways that we have um, employed in the classroom, we, we used to, to create posters like you can see on the wall. Uh, we've also done a lot of card games where they've got mixing and matching and that kind of active learning where they're actually sitting and talking. I think the, the, the talk part of their learning is probably the key to actually understanding. Oh yeah, that one, that one is helpful. Because sometimes you can be like struggling and then you just turn around and look back at, at the wall and you can find horses like... I think for me, one of the ways in which you get them to love English is through reading. Yeah? Um, I find particularly with adult students that if you find the right source text and you get them to respond to the right source te text, it ends up being a really creative and useful lesson. Initially, I will tend to start off by, using, by linking it into speaking and listening skills. And the way that I do that is to get them to read in groups. What, how and why is a really good way to extend discussion. You can do that through questions, but you can also do it, I think, through the use of the teacher as a facilitator. And that gives you the opportunity to engage learners who may be quiet and a little bit reluctant to join in. A role play has been tremendously good this year. Um, as part of the course, um, both young people and adult learners have studied multimodal talk. And as part of multimodal talk, um, they um, built a role play on it where we did um, a TV discussion show panel um, discussing their use of multimodal talk um, in specifically given roles with other learners acting as television presenters and that was really good. Well I've got um, a GCSE in English and I've got maths functional skills, English functional skills but like when, when you apply for any job they say what qualifications do you have? They'd pick the person that has a GCSE in maths. Like it doesn't matter if you've got all this other stuff, math, maths and English are your core subjects and obviously you need maths and English GCSE to get into university. Usually it's when you look at the paper you're just kind of like, I don't get it. But then when, you, when you've obviously been taught it and you look properly at the paper and something in your head just clicks and you're just like, oh yeah, I know that, I've been told that.